हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एम देहरादून इन द न्यू ब्लिंक 2.0 सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू यूज द इंटरनेट ऑफ जीएसएम जीपीएस मॉडम टू कनेक्ट विद द न्यू ब्लिंक 2.0 पॉइंट जीरो आईओटीएल This is the best way if you are providing the solution in the place where Wi-Fi is not available. And you know, it is not possible to provide Wi-Fi everywhere. So I will show you the demonstration of home automation using the internet of GSM modem with new Blink 2.0. To design this project, you need an Arduino, SIM 800C or SIM 800L GSM modem, two channel relay module. 2 AC bulb with holder, 12 volt 2 ampere AC to DC adapter, AC wires and a few connecting wires. And this is the circuit diagram. You need to connect your hardware according to this circuit diagram. So let's introduce hardware. This is the Arduino Uno in SMD version. This is a 5 volt SIM 800C. GSM GPRS modem from Rido Labs company. This is the best module ever as I have been using it since last 3 to 4 year but this is really working fine without any error. This is 12 volt 2 channel relay. We are controlling only 2 bulbs right now. This is a 12 volt 2 ampere AC to DC adapter that we are going to use as a power supply. So let's connect the hardware. First, we connect the bulb with the relay. And guys, please be careful in the connection as we are playing with the AC circuit. So the connection must be very tight and accurate. And this is the connection diagram of the relay with the bulb. Take the reference from this circuit. Once the connection is done with the relay, we have two wires now. And we have to put these two wires to a AC plug, right? Uh, now connect the relay with the Arduino board. As we have required a lot of pins for 5 volt and ground because Arduino don't have that many pins. So I have taken an external board for this. We connect the VCC pin of the relay module to 12 volt DC power as we have a 12 volt relay. And ground pin to ground. Now connect IN1 and IN2 pins of the relay module to 6 and 7 number pins of the Arduino board. Now connect the GSM modem to Arduino. Connect the VCC pin of the GSM modem to the 5 volt DC power supply pins and ground to ground pin. Now connect the RX pin of the GSM modem to 10 number pin of Arduino and TX pin of the GSM modem to 9 number pin of the Arduino. Must take the reference from the circuit diagram. So our connection has been done. Now time to configure the new Blink 2.0 website. Go to the Blink Cloud website. You go to the login page. Here login to your account. If you don't have an account with new Blink, then you can create your new account by clicking on the create new account link. After login, you can see the new template button to create your new project. So click on the new template button, property gets opened for the new template. Here write your project name as new blink with C method. Select the hardware as other because we are using Arduino Uno and there is no option to select it. Choose the connection type as GSM. Write the project description and click on done. Now click on the save button to save the setting in your project template. Now go to the search tab to connect your template to hardware. Here you got a new device option. So click on the new device. Click on from template. Choose here your template name as new blink with sim 800 and click on create. 
as you can see we have got our blank credential to connect our board to new blank you can also see these credential in the device info tab now we need to create virtual pins in the dashboard so click here and click on the edit dashboard option go to the data stream tab click on the new data stream and click on the virtual pin write the name as appliance 1 virtual pin as v0 data type is integer and click on create now click here to create a copy of virtual pin write the name as appliance 2 virtual pin as v1 data type as integer and click on create as i am controlling only two appliances so i have created two virtual pins if you want to control more then you can create the virtual pin as per your requirements now click on the web dashboard we drag and drop to switch widget in the dashboard click on the setting icon of first switch choose the data stream as appliance 1 v0 change the color to orange and click on save now open the setting of second switch choose data stream as appliance 2 v1 and change the color to green and click on save now click on the save and apply button to save all the setting to your project template and if you want complete details for the new blink 2.0 options then you can see our old videos in my youtube channel okay so now it's time to configure the new blink iot app go to the android store or app store and download the blink iot app oh i have an update available for the new blink iot app so i am updating it Open the Blink IoT app. And log into it. After login, you will see your project template with name New Blink with SIM 800. Right? Click on it to configure. Here, click on the setting icon. Inside, click on the plus sign to add widgets to your template dashboard. Click on button widget to add it to the dashboard. Add one more button widget to the dashboard as I am controlling the two appliances through relay. Arrange the widgets in the dashboard as per your requirements. Now click on the first button. Click here on the choose data stream. Select appliance 1 V0 and select the mode as switch. Now back to the dashboard. Click on the second button, choose the data stream as appliance to v1, change the mode to switch and back to the dashboard. So we have configured our new Blink 2.0 IoT app. Now time to download the programming code. Go to the video description and click on the download link to download the programming code. This link will redirect you to my GitHub repository. Here click on the code button and then download zip. Once code is downloaded, go to the download location. You will get the programming code zip file with the name new blink with GPRS master. Right click on it and click on extract here. And guys, if you don't have WinZip or WinRAR software to unzip it, then a link is available in the video description. You can download these software from there. So go inside this folder and you will get the programming folder. Go inside this folder and open this with Arduino IDE. In the top of the programming code, these are the blank credentials. You need to replace these credentials with the blank credentials of your project template that we have just created. So go to the blank website and click on the search tab. Here click on your project template. Dashboard has been opened. Here click on the device info tab and copy these credentials. Replace them in the program. Below we define the essential header files for the blank. We have defined the software serial header. Now we have defined 9 and 10 number pins of the Arduino Uno as RX and TX for the GSM modem using software serial. We have defined the tiny GSM modem for serial at. We also need to add the 
tiny gsm and blink library in the arduino ide we will add these libraries after the explanation of the code here we call the authentication token of the blink that we have just defined in the top of the programming code as i am using a bsnl sim card for the internet in gsm modem so i am writing the apn number of the bsnl as bsnl net if you are using an airtel or vodafone idea sim card then search the apn number in google and write it here in the place of bsnl net i am keeping the user and pass array as blank but if you find the user and pass for the sim apn setting then write it in the array we have just taken device 1 and device 2 as 6 and 7 because we have connected the relay to 6 and 7 number pins of the arduino uno if you want to connect more relays then define here now we define the blank underscore write v0 to control the first relay while we press or release the first switch from the new blink mobile app or blink web dashboard then we receive that value to the param dot as int function if we receive the one that means the switch has been pressed then we switch on the first relay if we receive the zero then we switch off the first relay similarly we will control the second relay using blank underscore right v1 while we press or release the second switch then we receive that value to the param dot as int function if we receive the one then we switch on the second relay if we receive the zero then we switch off the second relay understand in the setup function we begin the serial at 9600 baud rate and below we begin the serial at at the same baud rate as 9600 to operate the gsm model we define the device 1 and device 2 as an output for the relay below we print the message for the serial monitor after 3 second we write the modem dot restart function to start the internet using gsm gprs modem after this we start the connectivity with blink using the blink dot begin command inside this we pass the authentication token modem type apn username password as well as blink website address with port number you will get all of these information in the serial monitor while it starts connecting with the new blink server okay below in the loop function we call the blink dot run function to run all the blink commands so this is the complete programming code let's add the tiny gsm and blink library in the arduino ide so go to the sketch tab in the arduino ide then go to the include library and click on the manage libraries search here for tiny gsm scroll below and you will get the tiny gsm library you will see the install button to install it to your arduino ide click on the install button to install it i have already installed the tiny gsm library now search for the blink to install the blink library here we got it so click on the install button to install it i also have installed this library after the installation of these libraries click on the close button let's program the arduino board connect your arduino board to the computer go to the tools tab in the board section select the arduino uno now select the com port for your board so go to the tools tab select the port as com9 note it guys this port may be different in your computer so now click on the upload button as you can see the program has been successfully uploaded to the board let's test the gprs connectivity with blink in the serial monitor open the serial monitor as you can see serial has begun and modem started initializing we have got the blink logo in the serial monitor the modem has detected the network circle as up west and started connectivity using bsnl net api as you can see we have got a successfully connected message in the serial monitor 
that means our board has been successfully connected to the blank cloud server and our board is ready to work that's great so guys you must perform this test in the serial monitor to assure that your gsm gprs modem is working or not you can also see the testing of the relay with the blink mobile app while i am pressing the switch the led of the relay is on let's live test with the bulb with ac connections connect the adapter to provide power wait for 10 to 15 seconds so that our gsm modem will come online open the new blink iot app connect the bulb wires to the ac socket press the first switch as you can see the bulb has been turned on let's press the second switch oh the led bulb is on but there is some problem with the led bulb let's check it i think my led bulb is dead but you can see the status of the bulb through the led of the relay as it is on you can also control them through the web dashboard or the blank website so guys this is how you can connect your arduino board to the new blink iot app and web dashboard using gprs internet if you are looking for an email alert for any event with new blink 2.0 then watch my last video on the blank on this topic link is available in the video description thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and video